Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Last time, we made our way through the first half of the Clefta Dimension. This time, we made some preparations for a battle against Omega. And part of those preparations is getting a couple of Mystic Knights going because that's your best bet against the upcoming uh, Super Boss. Uh, I don't have anything better than the Enhancer that Bart's can equip, unfortunately, if he wants to have X-Fight on, which you kind of want to have on. Um, I would recommend Flame Rings for the upcoming fight. I would also recommend being uh, in the float status. Chicken Knife would be better if you want to deal lots of damage. Unfortunately, I don't have anything other than the Coronet, so that's the only secondary piece of heavy headgear that I have. And for some reason, the Mystic Knights can't use anything else. Uh, they can't use a lighter piece of headgear. Weird. Um, very important, we have Aegis Shields, which protect against stone, and Tiaras, which, uh, Lumia's Tiaras, which protect against confusion. I have both those and Flame Shields on my mages, and they're set up and ready to go. Um, do I need any of these abilities? Yeah, I just completely forgot to set up Kara. Uh, I'll just give her Dimension Magic. She's not particularly useful for the upcoming fight. Um, main thing you want to make sure you have on is a guardian knife would be very helpful to increase your evasion. Nobody wants to have the uh, any of the cursed gear for this fight and flame ring. So yeah, guardian knife protects you, age of shield, very good. And that should be pretty much everything. Now, let's say hello to this guy. This is a rent. oh, this is not a random battle. This is why you want flame rings, because otherwise, game over! Magic sword! Bolt three! And you're also going to put on bolt three, and then hopefully I get a turn, otherwise I'm in trouble. Mention! Let's get quick going. Rainbow wind, do not kill, do not kill. Oh right, that inflicts, I think, darkness. Uh, let's see, since it now stops. Omega, level 119. Um, let's go into the menu there so my stats don't go down. Uh, 55,530 HP, weak to lightning, absorbs all other elements. You can use darkness, slow, and stop on him. He has auto reflex, so you don't want to cast spells on him directly unless they're summons. Uh, he uses fire attacks, earth attacks while we're in float. And you can use both Confuse and Stone status on you quite often. Uh, let's get uh, Blue Magic here and get some White Wind going. Want to make sure you have as much HP as possible throughout this entire fight. Uh, let's see, and Haste 2, sure, why not. Want to go fast. Uh, combine would be useful in this fight. Are you in silence? That's unfortunate. Potion! Dragon Fang! It's kind of unfortunate, but uh, X-Fight! Yeah, Chicken Knight's really, really good in this case. Rocket Punch uh, lowers your HP by a percentage. Still by a percentage. Circle will eliminate somebody from battle and you cannot get them back. Unfortunately, I'm going to win this fight, but I'm not going to keep this. Oh, I'm not going to win this fight. Um, uh, blue, white wind. Thought uh, he'd pretty much be guaranteed to be dead at the moment, but uh, blaster will inflict uh, stone status. So, yep, there goes that. Yeah, this guy is really, really powerful. I don't know why Ferris is still uh, showing up there. Um, can I remove whatever status effect is on you? I have no idea what status effect Bards is being inflicted with. Stone, I can't use a soft. Why can't I use a soft? That's weird. Um... Ramu? Now, Ramu, if you didn't go out of your way to get him earlier in the game, I think he's encounterable somewhere in here. I'm just not exactly sure where. 
Yeah, so this isn't going to go well, so I'm going to reload. I was going to reload anyway to redo the fight, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some of our characters back here. All right, let's try this one more time here. Hopefully uh, things will go better than in my previous couple of attempts. This uh, guy's giving me problems today. Either he uses Encircle and kills people, or he just outright annihilates me with uh, something that I probably should have a way to heal, but for some reason I'm out of Echo Screens, and I have no idea why. Well, there's that. That doesn't really hurt me. In fact, that makes things easier for me. So there's Quick, and we want to heal, and we want to set up Haste 2. And there's Haste 2. And we should just need to hit him a couple of times, but we also want to use Love Song to inflict Stop on him so that we can hurry up and uh, kill him before uh, he kills us. Now the thing is, is he will recover from that rather quickly. So I've done about 40,000 damage. He's only got about 15,000 HP left, but I do need to... Uh, kind of survive in the meantime. Let's see here, we'll throw on, nope, we'll throw on uh, Big Guard here, maybe that'll protect us against some of his attacks. And I'm almost out of MP. I don't think I can do anything else particularly useful with you. Um, video! <laughs> I got nothing else to do with you, so. Well, that was completely ineffective. Just make sure you're at full HP before you start wasting things off like that. So we got X fight going again, and that should be the end of the fight. This fight can go, as you can see from the two uh, attempts that I've shown, it can go one of two ways. It can go well, and it cannot go well. Anyway, for defeating him, 50,000 gil, 100 ability points. Um, it's nice to get our uh, magic sword level up there, and you get the Omega Medal for defeating him, which isn't really an item, it's kind of like the uh, Proof of Conquest or whatever it's called in Final Fantasy VIII when you beat the super boss in that game. It doesn't really do anything, or maybe that's, was that 10? Mark of Conquest, yeah, Mark of Conquest was in 10. Um, we just did that, I should know that. But anyway. Uh, so that's pretty much all for him. So now I will meet you back uh, up a floor there with a uh, whole new uh, setup back the way it was. Okay, we're back. There we go. Now there's only two new enemies we encounter around here. And this is one of them. These guys are Avis Dragons. These guys have 7,000 HP. They're weak to water. You can use Stone, Dark, Zombie, Mute, Old, Slow, Control on them. You can steal a rare Artemis bow from them. So that's somewhat interesting if you want to do that. Um, if you use the Artemis bow against them, you'll crit against them every time because it crits against certain enemies. I'm not sure exactly which enemies they are, but they happen to be one of them. Um, they are weak to water, so you can use Leviathan. Leviathan would have been really good in the previous area, as well as in this area, to take down the enemies really, really quickly, if you want to summon it. In fact, I will demonstrate that this time. Summon Leviathan. Uh, Leviathan is not, water elemental is not boosted by the wizard rod, but uh, yeah, almost enough to uh, kill them. And you can always just mimic it for a free MP cost and finish off the battle that way if you don't want to wait for all of the X fights to go through or say you don't have X fight. You should definitely have Leviathan by now. And those guys drop uh, Dragon Fangs every time. Uh, it's not a secret passage, even though it kind of looks like it. So if you're short on Dragon Fangs, you can get them here. There is one other new enemy found in this screen, but I didn't run into him. It's, uh, it's a ninja type enemy. Uh, we'll probably run into them in this area as well. Um, there are two of these on either side. Uh, this one's full of pole arms, and the other one's full of armor. Uh, not that that really matters. There's nothing you can do in those rooms. I'm not even sure why they're there, but can we get Thor's hammer? I would guess that's lightning elemental. I don't know. <laughs> 
Ah, we got sword dancers. I believe they are susceptible to uh, gravity, if I'm not mistaken. If not, they're susceptible to X-Fight. Uh, let's see, Sword Dancer, where are you on my list here? Level 48, 3000 HP, you can hit them with pretty much any status effect in the game. They are human type enemies, the uh, Man Eater Knight is very, very good against them. And I need to heal. Definitely need to keep uh, your healing up. Nobody needs the cursed gear anymore, but make sure you're uh, healed up. Yeah, that one's full of armor. I'm not even sure why you can go in there, there's no items in there. There's one item over here, though. Running shoes! Would've been nice if we got those much earlier in the game, but, oh well. Ah, uh, we can't go straight up the, uh, the stairs there at this point in time. Uh, before going there, we should probably set up again. Okay, we're back. One thing of note, I am level 39. That is a multiple of three. Just, uh, just keep that in mind. Then you'll die here. Well, Apocalypse! This is one of the more interesting fights in the entire game. You can do a lot with this fight. Let's, uh, see. Hmm. Yeah, he casts a lot of spells. One interesting thing about this guy. This guy, Apocalypse, or Azumangia, or however the hell you want to pronounce it. Lots of different names for this guy. Level 57. 27,900 uh, HP, weak to poison, immune to all, pretty much all status effects. He's not very bright. He learns blue magic spells. He already knows 17 of the 30 blue magic spells, but he will uh, learn them as you cast them against him. Uh, so if you cast level 3 Flare, he will start uh, casting level 3 Flare on you. Thing is, he's not smart enough to realize that we have Reflect on. So we don't really need to do anything. And the more spells you use against him, or the if you use a spell that he learns, he is more likely to use that one. Um, so we can do a bunch of different things, and he basically just killed himself while I sat here gibbering and jabbering the entire time. There are other ways he can kill himself too. Let's find out. Let's do this again. This is fun. I like this. This guy is one of my favorite bosses to fight in the entire game. Just because of how many ways you can cheese the fight, and you don't even have to do anything. Basically, you have wall rings on, you win. You, you don't need to worry about anything. Let's see, what else can I do here that he could possibly learn? Oh, Exploder! I could do that! Well... He learned Exploder! I wonder what he's going to do with Exploder! Hmm... What do you do now? I win! <laughs> I think he's the only enemy in, like, there's probably another one, but he's got to be one of the few enemies in the entire series that'll actually kill himself because of poorly done AI. <laughs> or maybe they designed it that way just kind of as a rib. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, with, without the wall rings, uh, there's other ways of taking him down as well. Um, let's, let's show the fight without wall rings on. Actually, there is one other thing I would like to show with uh, the wall rings on. He is weak to poison, so you can uh, cast poison on him. It'll do 4,000 plus damage right off the uh, bat, but if you uh, target uh, Black Magic Bio, target everybody here, bounce it off, you're almost maxing out the damage. Mime a couple of times, and the battle is also over. Plus, you can also uh, just beat the crap out of him with uh, X-Fight and all that kind of good stuff, too, if you want to. Um, yeah, you don't really need to worry about any kind of status effects in this game. Do I not have the Man-Eater knife? I guess he's not a human type, even though he kind of looks like it. A weird-looking human, but... Yeah, that was, um... Oh, well, I guess I really kind of... Well, no. We'll show one more. 
Okay, last time, I promise. Basically, use X-Fight, cast Bio on him. Um, if you're not a level multiple of three, casting level three flare on him will still cause him to do, like try and use it on you. But if you're not a level multiple of three, then it won't matter. Uh, he'll just miss with it and he'll waste his turn. You can use Magic Hammer on him, make him do that. Uh, he is weak to poison, so Bio does well against him. You can use any other combination of uh, powerful spells. Medio works well. Uh, do be aware that he does have access to a lot of blue magic spells, so your levels could be uh, a detriment to you. But uh, for the most part, he's just a really easy boss that falls down really quickly and has lots of different ways of cheesing through the fight. My favorite of which is probably the Exploder, but the, uh, the easiest one is probably just equip wall rings and level 3 flare him to death. And then you can use level 3 flare on him if you want, or whatever. But anyway, for defeating him, we get access to a save point. I need to go change my setup because uh, we have some guys here that are protecting Cheddar Chest. And, well, I want to fight one before we call her a day. Okay, we're back. So let's just go in here. Some of them you can fight through the doors, doesn't really matter. This guy is a a pain in the ass when he does stuff like that. But if he doesn't do stuff like that, then you basically just want to use X-Fight on him. He's only got 6,000 HP, uh, 58, level 58. Uh, you can use Zombie, Dark, Berserk, Mute, Slow, and then he'll become this guy. Now, normally I would want to uh, be able to steal from him because uh, and I have Thief Gloves on both Ferris and Bart's for this. We'll get, well, we can't get him back. You know what? I'm just gonna cast Reset. I have Dimension Magic on both of my characters for this fight because it's really irritating. Uh, level 61, Jura Avis, 1500 HP. I like it when you don't use the uh, Encircle right at the start of the fight. Uh, 15,000 HP absorbs fire, ice, lightning, and wind nullifies earth. You can use Zombie, Dark, Paralysis, Mute, and Slow, and Gravity against them. You can steal a rare Dragon Lance. Dragon Lance is something we haven't seen so far. Ow. Uh, let's see. So we want to quick you. Having uh, Dimension Magic in here is really good because you can combine potion and a high potion on you. Water of Life, I think that's full rest. Oh, that's not. Never mind. That was the wrong combination. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, Potion Revivify, I think that gives a good amount of healing. Use that on you, or not. But anyway, I just, the point, no, stop that! You are fighting me, game, why are you doing this to me? I don't know why I always think Water of Life is full restoration. But I always think potion and high potion leads to full healing. I can't remember. Let's fast forward through some of that. Okay, so as long as you don't go for the abuse of one, and we can hopefully steal, the common item is a turtle shell. We don't want the turtle shell, we want the dragon lances. So basically, what I'm gonna do as I fight these guys is I'm gonna go in the battle kill the first form, and then attempt to steal, and then reset the battle over and over and over again until I get Dragon Lances. I want four of them. Four of them would be nice uh, for an upcoming super boss. You don't have to, there are ways around it. Um, but uh, one way you can kill Jer Avis really quickly if you want to is use Dark Shock, followed by level five Doom. He's level 61, so it rounds down, and you can take him down that way if you want. Okay, wow, that was on the fast side. I did not expect that. Okay, I'll take that uh, pretty easily there. All right, so quick, we'll get uh, the rest of this fight going on here. Just prepared to be sitting in my chair for a little while. So yeah, um, he absorbs a lot of different elements, so 
We don't really need to worry about casting mute or slow or anything like that. Gravity, so you could use Odin to finish him off. It does true edge. That can finish him off. There we go. Uh, slash can work, but he is a high level, so not always. But yeah, they're not the most difficult enemies in the game, but as soon as you get one, run back and save. The uh, Dragoon Lance... I switched uh, Bart's into a Mimic to give him access to uh, Mime or whatever. But uh, let's see here. Change you into a Dragoon real quick. But yeah, the Dragoon, it's even more powerful than the Holy Lance, and it deals double damage to Dragon-type enemies. This will be very important later on. So I'm going to steal up to four of those in between episodes, and at the start of the next one, we will have cleared all of those guys. They're all the same, all the old man-looking dudes. They're all exactly the same. So anyway, I'm going to do all that in between episodes, and I will see you guys next time.